So in the middle of the 1980s, two longtime NHL franchises were uh, moved, and this indirectly caused this squad to be created. Now, we know the Winnipeg uh, Jets uh, moved on uh, to, uh, uh, to better climbs. The uh, Minnesota North Stars moved on to better climbs. Uh, and uh, what was in its place? Well, in Minnesota, the uh, very popular IHL team, the Minnesota Moose, were formed. Now, they played two seasons out of St. Paul, Minnesota. Now, following the departure of the National Hockey League's Minnesota North Stars in 93 to Dallas, the state of Minnesota was left without a professional hockey team. To fill that void, the Minnesota Moose were founded the following year. The team began playing the IHL for the 95 season using the St. Paul Civic Center again as its home uh, uh, division. Now, uh, they were in the Midwest Conference, Midwest Division Western Conference of the IHL. Green, purple, black, and copper uh, uh, colors with a very aggressive moose for this logo. Uh, kind of looked like if the moose had beer had an angry logo, this would be it. Now, they, at the time, they were an independent. Now, after two years in the Twin Cities, the team was sold to a group of Canadian businessmen, including Mark Chapin, Chippen, who relocated the team to Winnipeg, Manitoba, and renamed them the Manitoba Moose. The franchise has played in the AHL since the demise of the IHL in 2001. Now, the state of Minnesota welcomed a new team, the Minnesota Wild, in 2000, and the Wild play at the Excel Energy Center, located on the site of the old Civic Center <coughs> in St. Paul. So what goes around comes around. Now, first season, the uh, made the playoffs with a 34, uh, 35, and 12 record in 81 games, 82, 30, 45, and 7, with out of the playoffs with a fifth play finish to in the Midwest. Now, uh, records for the squad, Dave Christian, uh, the, the former Olympian, former, uh, you know, uh, stellar player in the U.S. program, holds the all-time record with 38 goals. Assists are uh, held by Stéphane Morin at 81. Points in season, Stéphane Morin, 114 in 95. Penalty minutes, Brad Miller. Uh, Paris Dufus owns the records for goals against average and save percentage. Career goals, uh, Morin with 60. Career assists, Morin with 132. And uh, career points, 192 for Morin again. Brad Miller, career penalty minutes. Goalie wins, Tom Draper. Uh, career shutouts, uh, Dufus and uh, Draper. And career games, Morin with uh, 181, 161 uh, of 163 uh, game plates. Now, uh, Frank Serratori was the only coach that the... Uh, uh, the, the squad uh, had and a good coach he was. Now, talking about the Manitoba Moose, now, uh, they eventually ended up in the AHL uh, after the move, Minnesota to Manitoba. Now, the team played its home games at the Bell MTS Place, which was the home arena of its parent club, the Winnipeg Jets of the NHL. Now, uh, the team, uh, the Moose, played uh, 15 seasons, including 5 in the IHL and 10 in the AHL, 2001-2011, during the tenure in Winnipeg. This was followed by four seasons in St. John's, uh, Newfoundland and Labrador, during which the team was now known as the St. John Ice Caps. Now, the team returned to Winnipeg prior to the 2016 season. Now, Following the departure of the original Winnipeg Jets franchise, the Phoenix, a group of local businessmen, including Mark Trippin, purchased the moose of the IHL. Now, the team was relocated to Winnipeg to provide a new tenant for the Winnipeg Arena and keep professional hockey in the city. Now, the team's first season in Winnipeg was a disaster on every level. Now, former Montreal Canadiens uh, coach Jean Perrault was brought in to replace Frank Serratori as head coach and GM. The Moose that year won only 16 of 15 games on a parole before he was fired on January 4th, 97. 
Upon his dismissal, Parole lashed out at team ownership, the media, and the players, including a personal attack on team captain Randy Gillen. Now, we all know that uh, Parole had won a Stanley Cup in Montreal 86. University uh, uh, tenure, University of Moncton, was quite strong. For some reason, it wasn't gelling in Winnipeg. I don't know if it was personal or professional or whatever. Now, Parole uh, eventually threatened legal action against the organization, but nothing came of it. Assistant coach and former Jets defenseman, Randy Andy Carlisle took over as head coach and led the team to a winning record in their final 32 games of the season, but it was not enough to qualify for the playoffs. Now, Carlisle served as head coach and GM for the remainder of the team's tenure in the IHL. The Moose had moderate regular season success and qualified for the Turner Cup playoffs three of the next four seasons, making as far as the second round. Now, Carlisle was named the team's GM uh, of the year, named the league's GM of the year for the 9-9 season, and the Moose did not affiliate with an NHL club while playing the AHL, although several did loan players uh, to the team. So, uh, a very interesting goal. We're just going to keep it to the, 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 the Minnesota, Manitoba, uh, Moose, uh, independent uh, squad. Uh, from, from my perspective, the team was at its best as an independent because... A lot of fans and a lot of players really, really enjoyed uh, watching and following the squad when it's independent. It, lo it lost kind of the sort of the rebel quality when it uh, it shifted to the a AHL uh, because the IHL folding and when the AHL took them on, uh, Vancouver Canucks came into Manitoba. But like I said, uh, you know, the AHL is a great league, but IHL, like I said, the independents to me were very important in the developing and celebrating the best of hockey in the 1990s. And I kind of miss that because, you know, to build a team from the, the ground up, and like I said, you can get to certain players to certain teams, but it'd be under the thumb of, you know, the hires up. It's good to be independent, literally, in hockey because if you have too much corporate involvement you look what happened to Chica situation in uh, in Phoenix you know we can it can turn bad so that's the way it goes so ladies and gentlemen that's the story about the Minnesota and Manitoba Moose's IHL years if you like what we're doing here with our team profiles let us know give us a like comment and subscribe and don't forget once a Moose fan always a Moose fan have a good day bye